Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamu Alaikum. Here is Miss Ikraskar, your math teacher, and hopefully all my students are fine by the grace of Allah Almighty. This lesson is about your fourth week assignment. And before starting our lesson, let's take a recap about inverse proportions that we have learned in the previous week. Two quantities x and y are said to be in inverse proportion if an increase in x causes a proportional decrease in y in such a manner that the product of their corresponding values remains constant. If the product of x, y is equal to some constant k that doesn't equal to zero, then x and y are said to be very inversely. And the last thing we have learned is if y is inversely proportional to x, it has two possibilities, y is inversely proportional to x and y is directly proportional to 1 over x. Then graph of y against x is a hyperbola that doesn't pass in through origin. And graph of y against 1 over x is a straight line that passes through origin. So here is the topic for the fourth week, inverse proportions and the contents from your textbook is section 1.6, other forms of inverse proportions, textbook page number 30. At the end of this lesson, we will discuss the summary given in your textbook page number 35. So after the completion of this lesson, I hope that all my students will be able to identify variables which are inversely proportional to each other, equation of another form of inverse proportion and the last thing is problem involving another form of inverse proportion. So let's start our lesson with section 1.6 other forms of inverse proportion. All of you are requested to text open your textbook page number 30. Given that if y is inversely proportional to x, then product of x y is equal to k or in fraction form y is equal to k over x. Similarly, if y is inversely proportional to x square, then product of x square and y is equal to k or in fraction form it is y is equal to k over x square. In general we can say if y is inversely proportional to x raised to power n then product of x power n and y is equal to some constant k or in fraction form it is y is equal to k over x n. What is n? n is any non-zero positive integer. This may be square, cube, square root, cube root, etc. Whatever. Now what is k? k here is a constant that can never be equal to zero in case of inverse proportions or direct proportions. Now all of you, open your textbook page number 31. Let's try to identify variables which are inversely proportional to each other with the help of worked example 12. For each of the following equations, state the two variables which are inversely proportional to each other and explain your answer. A. Y is equal to 2 over x cube and the B part is Y is equal to 3 over under root x. Let's try to identify. Given that in A part Y is equal to 2 over x cube, so by cross multiplying we can write it as x cube Y is equal to 2 where 2 is a constant 
and we see the product of x cube and y is equal sub constant k that is 2 and not equal to 0 so we we can say y is inversely proportional to x cube similarly in b part given that y is equal to 3 over under root x or by cross multiplying we can write it as a product of under root x y is equal to 3 where 3 is also constant here and we see product of under root x and y is constant so here we can say y is inversely proportional to x square, square root or simply y is inversely proportional to square root of x now equation of another form of inverse proportion all of you please be attentive let's try to understand this topic with the help of worked example 13 given that if y is inversely proportional to square root of x or under root x and y is equal to 6 when x is equal to 4 we have to calculate the value of y when x is equal to 16 find an equation connecting x and y and we have to find the value of x when y is equal to 4 let's try given that if y is inversely proportional to under root x then we can write the product of under root x and y is equal to some constant k and we should know very well about this constant k that it is not equal to 0 in any case okay now students the values of x and y that are given at the same time will be used to find this constant k now putting the value of x and y that are given at the same time in this product that is equal to k we get the value of k is equal to 12 let's discuss how we calculate k under root 4 is equal to 2 and 2 is multiplying by 6 so k is equal to 12 Putting this value in this product, we get under root x y is equal to 12. Call this as equation 1. Now, common to the common to the first part. Now, let's try to calculate the value of y when x is equal to 16. Put the value of x is equal to 16 in equation 1, we get y is equal to 3. Second, find an equation connecting x and y. From equation 1, this, this one equation, okay. We have the product of x and y is equal to 12. This is the required equation that is connecting the variable x with variable y. In third part, we have to calculate the value of x at y is equal to 4. So putting this value of y in equation 1, we get the value of x as 9. Let us discuss how it is. Putting the value of y in this equation we get square root of x into 4 is equal to 12 so 4 is multi multiplying here on the other side it will be divided so under root x is equal to 3 and taking square root on really sorry students here is not a square root but only square taking square on both sides we get x is equal to 9 to the next page problem involving another form of inverse proportions open your textbook page number 33 worked example 14 and the statement is given 
In a computer simulation of an experiment, a truck is added to two identical flasks, each containing the same amount of a certain bacteria. The truck is allowed to react with bacteria for various times in T hours. It is found that the amount of bacteria left as units is inversely proportional to T minus 2 hours. In one flask, there is 6 units of bacteria left after 5 hours and calculate the amount of bacteria left in the other flask after 7 hours. So, solution is here. It is given in the statement here S units is inversely proportional to T minus 2 hours. So, according to this statement, we can write the product of S and T minus 2 is equal to some constant K, where is K is a non zero constant number. Called it as a equation 1. Now, when t is equal to 5 and s is equal to 6, we have to calculate the value of this constant k like this. So, we have s into t minus 2 is equal to 18. Now, at t is equal to 7, putting this value in above equation. We have s is equal to 3.6. Thus, the amount of bacteria left in the other flask after 7 hours is 3.6 units. Now students, here is a summary page that is given on your textbook page number 35. This is a snapshot taken from your textbook. If y is directly proportional to x, then fraction of y and x is equal to some constant k or by multi cross multiplying it will be y is equal to kx where k is a constant and is equal to 0 or in other form we can write it as y1 over x1 is equal to y2 over x2 or x2 over x1 is equal to y2 over x y1 the graph of y against x in direct proportions is always a straight line that passes through the origin this one is the graph of y against x and it is also this straight line is also passing through origin now in case of inversely proportion we have the product of two variables which are inversely proportional to each other is equal equal to some constant k or in fraction form y is equal to k over x where k is a constant and not equal to zero or uh, in fraction form we have y2 over y1 is equal to x1 over x2 or x1 y1 <coughs> sorry here is uh, x1 y1 is equal to x2 y2 it is not clear to me definitely not clear to you but you are requested to open your textbook page number 35 the graph of y against x is a hyperbola look like this and it is not passing through a region while graph of y against 1 over x is a straight line that starts from the region like this now students here is the written work that you have to do in this week on your loose years textbook page number 31 practice not 12 textbook page 33 exercise 1d questions 3 c to e textbook page 32 practice now 30 textbook page number 33 exercise 1d questions 1 4 and 6 textbook page number 33 practice now 40 and the last thing textbook page number 34 exercise 1d questions 7 and 8 and my dear friends if you face any problem you can contact me i'll be here always for you stay home stay safe